These facts might make that next sip a little hard to swallow. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the top 5 facts about Coca-Cola. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. This massive multinational corporation has a long, rich, and sometimes unsavory history. Today, we're diving into this murky carbonated pool headfirst to bring you all the tastiest details. Are you ready to begin your quest? Just a moment. <laughs> Number 5. Even when you're not drinking Coke, you're probably drinking Coke. By Coke's own estimates, 10,450 Coca-Cola brand soft drinks are consumed every second around the world, and they pride themselves on this idea. Sprite. While they aren't legally allowed to distribute in Cuba and North Korea, the fact that Coca-Cola was the first soft drink to go to space proves just how far they're willing to go to get Coke products into the hand of every potential consumer. As a result of various environmental and economic practices of the company, many people choose to boycott their products. But with over 500 different beverage brands under their umbrella, Coke products can be a little hard to keep track of. We find just the right places for our products and target just the right type of consumer to get products into exactly the right hands. Number four, they try to replace morning coffee. Put that coffee down. Coca-Cola is known for their iconic marketing, so much so that they've been credited with helping to shape the modern image of Santa Claus. But in the 80s, they made a few missteps. Remember New Coke? I try not to. Their attempt to make a place for themselves at the breakfast table proved equally misguided. Humans drink roughly 2.25 billion cups of coffee a day. I suck them down like Coca-Cola. So when Coke found out that 12% of their consumers drank Coke instead of coffee, they saw a major opportunity. <laughs> They launched a Coke in the morning campaign, and initially, industry experts were calling it brilliant. They even introduced the Breakmate, a mini soda fountain for the workplace. In the end, it failed. Those who chose soda in the morning had never really liked coffee much to begin with. True coffee drinkers, however, were thoroughly disinterested in converting. This isn't Yemeni, it's Sulawesi! Number three, it was a Nazi business? Ah, the old Nazi Coke myth. Here's the honest truth. In the 1930s, Germany was an important Coca-Cola market, but when war broke out, the syrup became impossible to import. No, 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 no. Following the death of the American head of German Coca-Cola operations in 1938, the German Nazi government appointed his German-born associate, Max Keith, to oversee production. He invented Fanta in order to keep the bottling plants running. Despite being selected by the Nazis, post-war investigations show that Keith himself never supported the party. When the war ended, he handed the recipe and profits to the Coca-Cola company. So when you drink Fanta Orange, that's the Nazi drink. That was created so that Coke could continue making money while millions of people died. So while Fanta isn't a Nazi beverage, it was born in Nazi Germany. Thank you, Hitler. You weren't all bad. Coca-Cola made the mistake of forgetting this history when they released a German Fanta anniversary ad in which they referred to the 1940s Germany as the good old times. Whoops. We just want to make sure when you think about Fanta, you don't automatically think about Nazis. Fanta. Nazis. Shit. Number two. They ran a campaign against tap water in restaurants. <laughs> this plan sucks. The Coca-Cola company faced a bit of bad press in the early 2000s when they touted the success of their H2NO campaign. Originally a covert operation, it consisted of training kits designed to help restaurants train their staff to dissuade customers from picking tap water. Water sucks! Just Say No to H2O proved a rousing success for both Coke and Olive Garden, the restaurant chain involved. Had Coke been humble about their accomplishments and kept quiet, it might have gone unnoticed. But when they chose to release a detailed success story, they were met with disbelief and a healthy dose of criticism. Considering that Coke had started selling bottled tap water just two years earlier under the Dasani brand, the hypocrisy was not lost on critics, news outlets, or consumers. Number one, like many sodas, it began as medicine. And yes, it had cocaine in it. I knew it! It was a very small dose, but when you're talking about a serious narcotic, any quantity sounds insane by today's standards. But when Coca-Cola was invented in 1886, the addition of cocaine wouldn't have raised many eyebrows. It was considered a medicinal ingredient. Naturally, carbonated water has been used to promote health for centuries. 
In the 1830s, the first soda fountains made their debut in pharmacies, dispensing flavoured seltzer in which medicine was mixed for ease of consumption. While it might sound strange to modern consumers, it was a pharmacist who invented Coke. What kind of an idiot gets stronger from cola? I do! Don't judge me! It was marketed as a nerve tonic that could cure headaches, impotence, indigestion, even morphine addiction. But by 1903, cocaine had been removed from the recipe. So which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.